I've been pretty proud of myself recently. I talked a little bit about in the last episode how it's been a while since I've died and lost everything. Yeah, that barely lasted a week. All I know is I was flying around the server, then I lagged out of the game, and the next time I logged in, I was no longer in the sky anymore and had none of my items. <laughs> it's been a while since I've had to dig this old sword out of storage. Oh, never mind. I still have leftover end busting loot from like months ago. Back into the chest with you. Even that end loot though is not enough to restock my tools. So unfortunately I'm going to have to break into my diamond supply, which is ever lingering closer and closer to zero. Alright, so I got all my gear back and I've actually been putting my tools through a lot of work recently because it's actually been about like a month <laughs> since I recorded that last clip uh, because we have been super, super busy and I'm just going to go to fly over to Sully's base really quick uh, for this part because it is very relevant because if you guys didn't know, um, Sully's daughter recently got cancer and so we decided to do something special for him. As a server, we're hosting a massive stream to raise money for the childhood cancer award that Sully's daughter is in. So we're raising money not just for her, but for all the other kids that are currently in cancer treatment there and any kids that come there in the future. So hopefully we can get a lot of people donating and hopefully make this thing as successful as possible. We've invited back all the inactive echoes like Chief and Miles and Wenzo, just a whole bunch of other YouTubers that you guys might be familiar with uh, that have left the server. So many people are coming back to support Sully and it's gonna be a great experience. And that's all happening tomorrow as you're watching this. Uh, I've actually been doing a lot of work off camera and haven't been able to record this until literally the day before. <laughs> so hopefully uh, I can get all the work done I need to do today. So we've actually been building this area on the server for a while full of mini games that we're gonna be playing on the stream. And we've already got a bunch over here. I think we've got mini golf and spleef and a, a few rocket games. I think Pizza's making like a, a rocket elytra course or whatever. I'm not exactly sure what, what all this stuff is going on, uh, but we are gonna be doing a bunch of mini games on stream and you guys will have the chance to play with us too. We've got a bunch of different donation tiers um, that will give you uh, certain things like you know, an armor stand with your head on it in the world or your name on the sign, stuff like that. And the highest tier is to be able to get on the server and play with us. So it's going to be a whole lot of fun. Uh, but today I actually need to build my game, which I've dug a big area over here for. This isn't actually going to be... The, the, the game itself is actually fairly simple. Uh, most of this down here is for redstone to actually reset the game because I'm using powder snow for mine. Also, we had to cover up a little bit of a, uh, <laughs> of a drop off here uh, because we dug into this massive cave system. So here, let me demonstrate really quick because this is actually a really cool and also kind of random <laughs> game mechanic I discovered on accident. Basically, if you're on fire and walk through powder snow, it actually melts which is just kind of random. I'm not even sure why this is in the game, but I thought just, I, just, I thought it'd be so cool just to make a, a mini game completely around this mechanic. So my game is basically gonna be a game of cat and mouse inside of just a big block of powder snow. I haven't actually tested it, but like it's way too late to, <laughs> to back it down now. So we're gonna do it. Hopefully it's a lot of fun. If it doesn't work, uh, there's plenty of other mini games in this area that we can play tomorrow. But first off, as you can imagine, uh, this game is going to be very complicated to reset uh, because first off, powder snow is just really hard. <laughs> to get a lot of anyways. Uh, you need to get in buckets and then you need to like place them each individually. Uh, so it's it's just super tedious to both gather and place as well as the fact that there's just going to be lava over the entire area and you don't really want to use fire resistance just to like reset the thing. So I thought, no, oh, oh, oh. I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. I tried to, I was trying to eat. Yeah, okay, there we go. Luckily, I have Smite 5 on this thing. <laughs> so yeah, like I said, the reason we have this hole so deep is so we can have the redstone, and that's basically just going to be the reset mechanism. And I spent a lot of time designing this thing, so hopefully it works in the server, because sometimes single-player and multiplayer redstone are just a little bit different. I'm really hoping it works. <laughs> it just relies on a lot of very precise timing, so I'm a little bit nervous about this. So this whole thing relies on... A dispenser uh, because you can put uh, powder snow buckets in a dispenser and they will actually uh, place the block once you power them so we're basically just building a big clock that will dispense a bucket of powder snow and then push it along a line for it to go into the uh, 
the big block and reset itself. Which sounds easy enough, but I spent the better part of like a week <laughs> trying to figure out the redstone. Uh, but I was finally able to do it. It is a little bit uh, messy though. So I'm just going to go ahead and just build it <laughs> and then try to explain how it works. Okay, so here we go. Uh, <laughs> like I said, it's a little bit complicated. It's hard to know what pieces to look at. But basically, uh, it works like I said. So you put power snow buckets in here. And then once they start entering the dispenser, this comparator will do a bunch of things. Uh, it will first off set off the dispenser. So actually place the powder snow block. Uh, after a delay, it'll set off this piston to push it. Um, it will unlock that hopper so to get the empty bucket out of the um, out of the dispenser and put into that chest. Uh, and then I think, oh yeah, there's also just a block up here uh, to make sure that this line doesn't just stay on so that um, this piston keeps going up and down to make sure that the dispenser keeps getting um, powered over and over again for each individual bucket. Um, it sounds less complicated, I guess, when you spell it out loud. It does look still <laughs> very, very complicated, but hopefully, uh, moment of truth, uh, it should work now. So normally, there's going to be a double chest over there, but let's just put this buck, this choker box on top and just hope it works. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, okay. It should power that one next. That one's not getting powered. Why isn't it getting powered? I don't have a redstone line to it. Okay, uh, this is okay. This is a good time to demonstrate that this little overflow system I have. Um, basically, there's no easy way to turn this thing off. Uh, so basically, once the uh, once this dispenser goes through all the power snow buckets, it kind of resets itself. Uh, so when this thing is full, basically, it just needs to keep... Um, here, I guess, so I can actually see. Once this thing is full, this dispenser will just keep on going until it runs out of buckets. And that's the only way I know to really reset this thing properly. So... I've got this little overflow system to reuse all the power snow buckets, so I'm not just like losing all of them. But yeah, make sure I put all the redstone in this time. <laughs> okay, let's try that again. Let's put that right there. And I know this part works. Uh, now I just need to make sure it actually goes up the pile. It does. Okay, it does. This part, this part's correctly timed, and then this short. That shouldn't be there. No, wait, no, no, no. Those aren't. Those, no, wait, 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 wait. Those aren't should be sticky pistons. Oh no, I, I've messed up. <laughs> That is supposed to be a normal piston. Uh, all right, take three. At least it's only breaking because I put it together wrong, <laughs> not because the redstone's actually wrong. And there it goes. Uh, I don't know why that piston's not working. It should be working. Why is that piston not pushing? These pistons... Oh, there it goes. Okay, I'm... <laughs> I. It's a little bit confusing, but it is working. So that's good. I'm not <laughs> I have no idea why it waited to go to the end until the, all the pistons pushed out in the single player world. It does one row at a time kind of all the way lengthwise, but I guess that's just server timing and that's fine. Now the way I've been collecting all the power snow is this powder snow farm that I tried and failed to build on stream uh, based on, this is basically a slightly simplified version of Ray's Works powder snow farm. If you, do, if you were there on stream, I'm sorry. Uh, the only reason it wasn't working is because these dispensers were just facing the wrong, the, the droppers were facing the wrong way, but I got it working and expanded it and it works really, really well. I AFK'd the first night and uh, filled up all the chests I had set aside for it. So I expanded the storage. I, none of these are even remotely close to being full. I think this is like one of the most full rows there are. So yeah, I kind of went overboard with the storage just because I was afraid of like wasting buckets uh, because, you know, I filled up this on like the first night. It works really, really well, which is great because um, this is like deceptively a <laughs> small amount of powder snow. Like if you consider it, only one of these buckets is a block, like... This doesn't, this won't go far. This is 27 blocks. All right, and just double checking, it does work like it's supposed to. Just some of the timing is a little weird up here, but it's fine. It gets the job done. This row just goes like twice as fast for some reason. I have no idea why. Okay, this is good. Like I said, there's going to be four of these uh, basically in each corner to cover the whole arena. And this is the only one I'm going to be building on camera because like I said, I don't have a whole ton of time today. 
but hopefully you can kind of get what it's supposed to do now. So now we get to the arena itself, and we're using magma blocks just to, to kind of mark the outside of the arena so people know not to kind of walk through the powder snow wall because the walls are going to be made out of powder snow. There's really no way to avoid that with the whole self-regenerating thing. So this should be enough to make sure people don't go out of bounds. I'm going to die. Uh, so to make sure the players are on fire, uh, this bottom layer is going to be covered in lava, and there's going to be a few little bits and pieces on here that people can jump onto and kind of hide inside the powder snow. For uh, temporarily, you know, obviously you start taking damage eventually, so it's a little bit of a risk reward situation. But to make sure the lava's not too obtrusive, I'm actually uh, going to destroy this really quick. There we go. I don't want to freeze to death while building this thing. Yeah, the floor is actually made of walls, and I'm using nether brick walls just because I think they look kind of cool, even though you're not going to see them at all. <laughs> but uh, I bet most of you guys already know that staying on top of a fence or a wall just makes you stand just a little bit higher. Oh, my pants broke. That's unfortunate. But it's actually the exact same height as standing on a slab. Which doesn't make sense, but I can just do this. I can I can stand right here and put a slab right here and just walk on top of them and with no visual dis for difference whatsoever. They're both a block and a half tall, and I don't know why it. it I mean, I, I get I know why. Like I know. The game has it programmed this way, but it but it looks so weird. It looks like it shouldn't happen. But basically, uh, <laughs> I'm using walls so that uh, I can have the slabs while also having you know liquid on top. Well, that wasn't a good that wasn't a good demonstration. Basically, with slabs you can waterlog it, but you can't do the same thing with lava. So you need to have it resting on top of something. So that's why I have the walls. So basically, the lava is as unobtrusive as possible. It's basically a lava slab is what I'm doing here. All right, so here's the arena. Um, obviously, there's going to be, you know, lava on top of all these uh, walls. But besides that, it's ba is basically done besides some decoration. So, you know, I've got these, you know, Pac-Man type walls that people can hop onto and kind of duck and hide inside the walls of powder snow, um, at least until they start freezing to death and kind of are forced to keep going and walking around the arena. But yeah, there'll be a uh, hunter or or multiple. I'm not sure. Like, what's cool about this game is you can really play it as many different ways as you want. You know, you can have like a one-on-one. -on -one. You can have like one hunter trying to find three different people. You can have three different hunters trying to find one person and just <laughs> let them freak out <laughs> trying to avoid everyone. Um, hopefully this should be um, really, really great for just a whole ton of people like we're going to have on the stream. Anyway, the last thing I want to do today before I uh, finish this video because I'm not going to be able to finish the whole thing in the video uh, because I want to get it out before midnight, you know, <laughs> some, somewhere, sometime reasonable tonight. But I will do some of the decoration just kind of around the main arena. And basically my idea for this arena is to have it basically be in like a frozen lake or frozen pond or something like that. So up top there's going to be, you know, just a whole ton of ice and there's going to be stained glass on top just to kind of look down on the game itself. So this is going to be where everyone that's not playing uh, can watch the game and see see way more than the people actually playing will be. Like, if you think about it, if you're in the game, in the thick of it, in, you know, your face covered in powdered snow, you know, you can't really see a whole ton. But once you're up top and you can just kind of see everyone from a top-down perspective, um, it should be really exciting. Um, you know, even, even more exciting, maybe watching the game. I'm not sure. I want to use ice because, you know, ice is see-through and it'd work really, really well for this. Uh, but because we have so much lava here, it just melts. <laughs> so we're using the light blue stained glass and I'm going to, will be using normal ice in some of the decorations uh, farther away from the main arena. But yeah, this is basically how it's going to work. And obviously this is going to go out farther and look a bit more like a lake. It's going to actually be round and stuff, just like a big square. Um, but besides that, Functionally, the game is pretty much done. I'm, at least I've shown you everything uh, functional about the game that you really need to know. So yeah, I'm gonna fill in the whole thing with lava. I'm gonna put over, put the other power snow generators and also decorate this whole thing ready for tomorrow. So if you want to see the completed thing, I guess you're just gonna have to show up to the stream. So that's kind of convenient, actually. Um, it has nothing to do with the fact that I'm uh, running out of time on this video. <laughs> Yeah, it doesn't look like much right now, but trust me, it will look really, really nice when it's done. But with that, I think I'm just going to say goodbye here. So yeah, show up to the stream tomorrow. There's a donation link in the description. There's a bunch of different reward tiers um, and stuff. So yeah, make sure to read the information down there so you can participate. But yeah, with that, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye!